Hey guys, this is going to be a mini series on the Zend Framework 2. All right, so we're going to build an application with it. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to install it on Windows using Composer. All right, so Zend is uh, an MVC model view controller PHP framework, and it's used a lot on the in, on the enterprise level. Uh, it's a little tough to learn compared to something like Cake PHP or Code Igniter, uh, but it is very powerful. All right, so it is worth learning. Now, if we click on this Learn link in the menu, and then we go down to Reference Guide, and then Zen Framework 2, that's going to bring us to a manual that will take us through to create an application. Uh, of course, you could just go ahead and read the documentation, but I figured if I made a video or a mini series, uh, it would make it a little easier so you could actually see it in action and I can also explain things as we go along. All right, so if we click on this first one, getting started, it's going to tell us um, about the application, which is an album manager. Okay, so music albums, you'll be able to list them, add new albums, edit albums, and delete albums. Okay, so a basic CRUD application. And then the fields, we just have an ID, an artist, and a title. Okay, so really easy schema. Uh, if we do, go ahead and click the next link down here, and this is going to sh show us how to install Zend. All right, so we're going to use something called Composer, which is a PHP dependency manager, and it's used to install a lot of different frameworks, actually. Um, Laravel, uh, I think Symfony, and a couple others. All right, so we're going to get that installed. So I'm going to go over to getcomposer.org, and if we click on Getting Started, I'm on a Windows machine, so I'm going to click this installation Windows link. And there's a nice um, installer that we can download and run, and that'll install it so that we can always access Composer uh, on, in our command line from any folder at all. All right, so let's click on that and save it. All right, so we'll go ahead and run it. Okay, so next, and you can also choose to install shell menus. I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to leave it at default. And then you need to assign your um, PHP folder. All right, I'm using XAMPP or XAMPP, and it's going to be in C drive, XAMPP, PHP, and then PHP.exe. Okay, if it's not showing up here, go ahead and browse to it. All right, so we'll click next and then install. All right, so it's telling us that we need to close all of our windows and we need to actually log out and then log back into Windows. All right, so uh, I'm going to go ahead and do that and I'll be back. All right, guys, so I've logged out and logged back into Windows and now what I'm going to do is open up a command prompt and I'm going to go ahead and just type in Composer. All right, so we know that it's installed and working because it gives us all the different commands, okay? Um, now what we want to do is we need to run this command here to actually set up our Zend application. So you want to go to your server folder or wherever you want to install this. Uh, I'm going to my C drive and then zamp slash htdocs. All right, and then what I'm going to do is just grab this and paste that in. And then we're just going to change this path to install to whatever we want to call it. I'm going to call it my albums. I don't think that the tutorial actually calls it that, but I'm going to call it that. All right. And then at the beginning of this command, we don't want the PHP and we don't want the dot far. It should just be composer. All right. So let's go ahead and run that. All right, and make sure that your Apache server is running. Mine isn't, so I'm going to open up my XAMPP control panel and click Start for Apache and also MySQL. All right, so let's see. Project out. Oh, it's not empty. I already had it. All right, so you guys shouldn't get this issue, but let me try. Let me fix this real quick. All right, so let me run that again. Okay, so it should create it. All right. And this might take a minute or two. 
All right, so it's going to ask if we want to remove the existing VCS. So let's just say yes for that. Okay, now what we want to do is go to localhost slash my albums slash public. All right, so here is our boilerplate application that comes by default. Okay, it's basically just a page. It doesn't have any uh, special functionality or anything like that. But we now have Zend installed. Okay, so the last thing I want to do is I don't want to have to go to localhost, my albums, public. So what I'm going to do is add in uh, a virtual host. So if we go back to the documentation and go down, it actually shows us how to do that. Okay, we need to edit the httpd.conf file. All right, so let's do that. That's going to be in XAMPP and then uh, Apache, then conf, then extra, and we want to open vhosts. All right, so we're just going to copy that and let's see. So if you haven't touched this file at all, this line right here is probably commented with a with a hashtag symbol. You just want to delete that, okay? And, and it should look like this. And then what we're going to do is paste that in. And we're going to change a couple things. The server name I'm going to change to my albums. And then the document root. I'm going to get rid of that. And I'm going to say C slash Zamp slash htdocs slash my albums slash public. All right. And then what we're going to do is copy that. And we're going to put it here. All right. So, yeah, that should be good. So let's save that. Now, we also need to edit our host file. Now, you need to be uh, an admin to be able to save it. So what I'm going to do is we're going to open up Notepad. And you need to run it as administrator. All right. Or you won't be able to save it. And then we're going to say open. And you want to go to your C drive and then Windows and then drivers. Where is it? No, not not drivers yet. We want system 32 right here and then drivers. All right. And then ETC. And then down here, we're going to select all files and we're going to open hosts. And all we want to do is say 127.0.0.1. And then we're going to say my albums, just like that. OK, so control S. We'll go ahead and save that. So now what we need to do is just restart Apache. All right. And then let's try to go to HTTP slash slash um, my albums. And there we go. All right. So we have our application up and running. We have it at my albums. So now we're ready to move on. All right. So that's going to be it for this video. In the next video, we'll jump into the code and we'll take a look around and start to build our app.